The thing about learning is that it's such a personal, individualized experience. We all have our own unique learning style, and that can change from topic to topic. I know that I've talked about this before, and I wanted to share a personal experience to help add some context to this statement. A few years ago, I was working with a third shift plant operator at a hospital in Idaho. Because he was third shift, we met at 11 o'clock at night in a tiny little training room in one of their mechanical spaces. My bedtime is typically nine o'clock on most evenings, so I was already feeling very outside of my comfort zone. But I was determined to work with this guy and empower him to be the best at his job. We spent the next two hours talking only on chilled water systems. We covered everything from equipment to how the system components work together, the normal operating parameters, all of the fundamentals of chilled water systems. When we got to the end, I did what I always do, and I started to ask him questions to verify his retention. Now, mind you, I had already taught this class twice on that same day to the other two shifts. So this felt very routine for me. I started off with, explain to me how you calculate delta T. Delta T is the difference between the supply and return water temperature. Very simple, straightforward. I thought there was gonna be no problems with answering this question. I was floored, floored when he returned my question with a blank expression. He was searching for the answer. He wanted to find it and it wasn't coming to him. I felt like a loser failure because I just spent all this time with him and I hadn't moved the needle at all it seemed. I wasn't empowering him. I was wasting his time. And that was such a gut-wrenching feeling. We worked through it. I mean, we powered through the material and we got where we needed to be. But that was the moment that changed my entire perspective on staff training. I assumed that if the material was relevant to someone's job, then learning it would be second nature because they could apply that information immediately to their work. But what I learned is that the delivery is every bit as important as the content. More often than we realize, what's being communicated isn't being received and it's not the recipient's fault. If you've ever left a meeting, a class, a workshop, whatever, and you felt like you had to go teach yourself on your own time what you were just taught, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People take in new information differently. They retain information differently. It's simple, but most importantly, when you're empowering someone, you do it on their terms, not yours. So, the next time that you are explaining, teaching, coaching, mentoring, anything to anyone, I urge you to stop, take pause, and make sure that you are resonating with that person, with your audience. They'll be so grateful that you did. And so will you. Thanks, y'all.